Hello everyone. In instrumentation design and engineering training program, today we will discuss about instrument IO list. What is instrument IO list? An instrument IO list or IO database is a document which contains input output signal of control systems used in process facility or plant. We consider only those tag numbers in this document which contains cabling connection to the control systems. Generally, we do not consider those items which are not cabling connection, just like wireless signals. So, in below diagram, you can see there is a control system. So, some input is coming and some output is going. So, in this document, we will contain or we will uh, consider all the signals which are coming to the control system and which are going to from the control system. So whenever you will consider or you will make the IO list, just imagine you are in the control room or on the control system. So whatever the signal will be coming to the control room, that will be input and whatever, whatever the signals will be going out of the control room, that will be the output. How many types of signals we will consider? So there are generally four types of signal we will consider in this IO list. Number one, analog input, which is denoted by AI, analog output, denoted by AO, digital input, denoted by DI, and digital output, denoted by DO. In right side, you can see so many pictures mentioned. So these are the field instrument basically. These are the field instrument which can produce the signals. So some of the symbols are IO like AI, AO, DI, TO. Purpose or use of this document. So it's better to know about this document like when we utilize this document or what is the advantage to making this document. So as we know our complete plan will be controlled by control system. Either it can be PCS means process control system or SIS safety instrumented system or ESD system. It is called emergency shutdown system. So whenever we will do the sizing of the control system, then IO list will be required. Without IO list, we cannot size the control system. For example, we want to calculate the IO card numbers of the control system. Like there will be so many IO cards for AI signals, for AO signals, for DI signals, for DO signals. And there are different different capacity of the IO cards. So how we will size the IO card, how we will calculate the number of IO card. For that calculations, we need the IO list. And with the help of IO list, we can calculate the number of marshalling panel, we can cal calculate the number of system cabinet panel also. So in short, for the system sizing, IO list will be required. And also, this IO list will be shared to the, our system vendor. So they will require this IO list document. You can see in below picture, there is a control system. So some signals are coming and some signals are going like all the transmitters just like pressure transmitter temperature transmitters level transmitters flow transmitters so these are the uh, transmitters which are coming to the control system so these signals generally we are considering as a ai switches there will be so many field switches like pressure switches limit switches will be there and that switches signals digital signal will go to the control system in the field there will be push buttons also there will be detectors also some pump signal just like if you want to shut off or if you want to stop the pump if you want to start the pump uh, you want to speed control of the pump you want to see whether what is the current consuming by the pump of motor so that signal can be connect to the control system a lot of signal will be there with the help uh, with the pump 
like uh, voltage signals, earth fault, over voltage, manual auto. These are the signals we can connect to the control system. Some SOV will be there like to, uh, to operate the on off valve there will be SOV to, con uh, to operate the uh, control valve there will be positioner also and there will be alarm also on the field like whenever any process will be exceed its set point so we want to create an alarm so that can be created by the control system so these are the so many types of signals which connect to the control system by which signals our plant can be processed. So in this document we will consider all these signals in a documentation format. Whenever you will make a IO list document then these are the fields required. So just like we prepare the instrument index there are some fields required so in IO list also these are the fields required to prepare the IO list so these are the important field apart from these also you can put as per the client recommendations or any particular uh, data but these are the most important or uh, field which is required to your IO list documents as I told you that instrument index have these informations so the input is instrument index whenever you will make the IO list then you will require an input and the instrument index will be the best input to prepare the IO list even though you can also prepare based on the PNID but it will take more time because all the activity you have done in the instrument index also so just you have to make the filtrations and you can find out the IOs. So you can put the filter on the IO type. So all the IOs you can find out. You can extract these Excel to another Excel and some other information you can fill it and your IO list will be ready. So already we have discussed about the tag number, loop number, instrument type, service, PID number. These are all the uh, columns we have already discussed in instrument index. Now the function. So what is the function basically? So whenever you will see any loop, then there will be some function of the loop. Like whether the loop is for only indications or this loop is for indication as well as alarm generating or this loop will be the indication, alarm generating and controlling purpose also just like a closed loop. Suppose a pressure transmitter connected to the control valve. So basically pressure transmitter send the signal to the control system and control system will send the signal to the control wall. So there is a closed loop. So what is the function of this closed loop? First of all indications because you are considering the pressure transmitter and there will be indication on the field also and there will be indication on the control system also. Again controlling also is there because already you are controlling the pressure with the help of control wall. And if you want to generate any alarm with uh, with any set point, then you can also set the alarm. So by this way, we can uh, find what are the functions. But for the function checking, you have to see the PNID. In PNID, there is a clearly mention like which types of function are there or how many functions are there. Again, location already we have uh, mentioned in the index. Then loop type. So there can be open loop or closed loop. We will discuss in detail in PNID review lecture. So loop type also you can provide because your system vendor will require how many open loops are there and how many closed loops are there. Even though they want to know about the complex loop and simple loops also. Again the IO type which is already mentioned in index system already mentioned. Next signal type. So signal types you have to clarify like 2 wire for 20 milliampere, 3 wire signals, 4 wire signals you have to justify. Again IS or non IS signals. This is also required to mention. Again the power supply. This point already considered in instrument index because 
not all are the instrument have the same power supply so whenever you will consider any io then in your uh, marshalling cabinet there will be different different mcb for the different different signals so based on the power supply there is there will be some mcbs again the calibration range and set point and engineering units these these all the points are considered in instrument index so we not need to consider uh, like uh, uh, in extra we can just extract from the instrument index and then remark if any points you missed or you want to justify you want to uh, uh, clarify then you can mention in remark so this is the basically our main page where all the information of high list is mentioned but whenever you want to issue any document then you have to prepare the complete document like there will be some cover pages there will be uh, some uh, you know uh, settings also page number settings document number settings there will be some notes also so that will be the perfect documentation but the most technical information will be mentioned here only so if you are clear about this then no matters what are the format will be there you can prepare it so this way you can prepare the i list i hope you are very clear if anything you can mention in the comment box we will meet in next video thanks